In this video, we're going to look at the new Universal Dashboard Factory PowerShell module. It's a tool for generating um, custom components and frameworks for PowerShell Universal Dashboard. Uh, this PowerShell module has some interesting uh, command lines in it. Um, first, we have command lines for generating uh, frameworks. So what this does is it actually takes a, um, a framework um, from the Node Package Manager, uh, installs that framework, and then wraps some PowerShell command lines around it. So it automatically generates uh, a framework that you can call um, without having to author anything. So for example, here is uh, how we would export the ant design framework um, without having to write any JavaScript or any PowerShell, actually. Um, so what we're going to do is we're actually going to step through uh, creating this particular framework. So I actually have um, the Universal Dashboard factory module installed. So I can use export UD framework here. I'm going to specify the ant-d package. So that is the actual NPM source package that I'm going to be using. Um, then I'm going to specify a name, and that's just the friendly name of the um, pretty much framework that will be generated, and that's what's going to show up inside uh, Universal um, Dashboard. Then I'm going to specify an additional import. Uh, this is just something that Ant Design requires, and we're going to be importing the uh, cascading style sheet for Ant Design. Uh, from there, I'm going to call install enforce uh, switch parameters on export a UD framework. And what install does is it'll actually put it into the default um, universal dashboard framework folder in, if you have it installed locally. So then it'll be available inside universal dashboard. And then force will just overwrite it if it already exists. So we're going to run that, and what that's actually going to do is it's going to start up uh, the Node Package Manager uh, process, um, install Ant Design and any other um, kind of dependent packages, and then it's going to package um, this framework as a Universal Dashboard framework that we can load up in PowerShell Universal. So that packaging process took about two and a half minutes to install all the NPM packages and then compile the Ant Design framework into a um, JavaScript file that we can then include uh, with our Ant Design framework with Universal Dashboard. Now that we've compiled our framework, what we're going to actually do is we're going to look at how to use this inside uh, PowerShell Universal. So since I use the install flag, it actually installed this um, particular framework uh, directly into the installation directory. I had to restart PowerShell Universal, but when I did that, it actually um, located the new framework. And you can see I'm just running PowerShell Universal directly from uh, the Axie here um, in my console. So now if I go over to PowerShell Universal and I log in, what you're going to notice is that uh, on the left-hand side under the Dashboards Frameworks tab, we now have an Ant Design uh, framework available. So if I go to create a new dashboard and click Create Dashboard, I'm going to call this Ant D, and then I'm just going to select the Ant Design Framework and click OK. So that may or may not work. Oh, there we go. Uh, so I have created this Ant Design um, uh, dashboard now, and if I go to Details, you're going to notice that we don't have any um, content in my code editor. So the way that this works is we don't actually generate specific commandlets um, for each one of the controls uh, like you do with an, the existing um, Universal Dashboard frameworks. But we expose a commandlet called new UD um, component, and it allows you to specify things um, that are stored within that Ant Design library. So for example, this top level uh, component here is actually uh, using um, the type layout. So if you go over to the Ant Design uh, component documentation, you actually find the layout um, component here, and it's going to have some examples of how to use the layout. So I'm doing something similar to um, this here, and if we look at the code, uh, you can see that it's using the layout control here, and then it's using layout.header and uh, layout.content. So inside my dashboard, I'm actually specifying layout, layout.header, uh, layout.content, and then inside uh, the content of those, you'll see that I'm creating other components like the menu, and then I'm creating menu items. And then you can even specify uh, properties of those components. So I'm setting this to a horizontal menu, um, and I'm setting the theme to dark. Uh, then I am actually even adding an on-click event handler that allows you to use setUDElement to update the button here, which is 
um, this button that just says, hey, one, two, three, and it's a primary button type. So if I save this um, and then restart my dashboard, I can go and view that dashboard. And what you're gonna see here is that we have the ant design dashboard up and running. So um, what's cool about this is I'm using all the ant design controls. Um, I didn't have to actually go out and author all of these. I'm just kind of using the library directly. Um, and then the other cool thing is that we've automatically hooked up some of the interactive capabilities of um, the uh, library that we generated. So if you recall on my menu, if I click um, on the menu, it's gonna call set UD element with the ID button, which is that button down here. And I'm gonna change the content to cool. So let's go back to my dashboard, click this nav, and you can see that that button actually updates. So it's actually even interactive. So there are still some limitations to this tool. Like I said, it's experimental. Um, doing things like forms and that kind of thing are not gonna work very well, but um, if you're displaying data and doing some basic interactivity uh, that you see here, um, you can actually build pretty cool dashboards and generate the uh, frameworks based on existing React frameworks. So uh, it really lets, it kind of opens up the universal dashboard ecosystem um, and allows you to kind of generate, uh, yeah, your framework based on uh, whatever React library you kind of want to use. So in this video, we took a look at the new uh, UD factory um, experimental tool for Universal Dashboard. It allows you to generate um, frameworks based on um, existing NPM packages without having to write anything yourself.